Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armel, and I'm reviewing here a call I made on Walmart. And I actually gave two calls on this, but the quick, fast one was the 100 calls to buy the 100 calls on the 16th, the day that the stock gapped. And I actually called it late because we looked at this and did it in this room as a day trade. So by the time I got done with the room, I, I called the option. It was late, but I know there were people in the room that did it before I called it, but we were day trading this in the morning. Anyways, called the option trade in this around 11 something. It was later in the morning before lunch. And it was a really nice price. And the stock ran up all day. And I called the 100 calls that expired 1124, which is this week. The exit was that day because it was only a one week trade. Or I also called the ones to expire at the end of the year, last week of the year in December. So for to hold on something like that, you would really have to firmly believe the stock was going to just explode in the next month. Um, same, same strike, 100 strikes. Anyways, Walmart is a very strong stock. It's performed pretty much most of the year. It's been rallying, but it hasn't really gone crazy. If you look at a lot of other strong stocks in the market, it's been holding the uptrend. It's been an uptrend, but it has really just exploded from October, really, until now. If we just look at this here, 10.9. Um, so stock was at 80. Stock has moved 20 points like in a little over a month, actually in basically just a month, well, like five weeks. That's incredible. So it was an earnings, it was an earnings play and it was it was a really good gap. So I made a bullish call I, and when I make the options call, I just do simple buy the call or buy the put. And I called in the direction uh, based on the gap rating, which is rated good as a bullish gap. So the target was 100 and I saw it was gonna get to at least 98 on the day and then as, and as the day started moving and it started moving in the morning I saw the buying was coming in that it could get to 100 as a dream target for the day that was really the dream target for Thursday and it almost got there high of the day was 99.68 it got within 32 cents of the dream target for that day and that can happen I mean there are days that stocks gap when they gap down and we short them or a gap up and we go long them that they can go to the dream target and Walmart was one of those ones on Thursday so really nice call. Now, what does this translate in as far as money for people? If you had bought the calls expiring in 1124, which you would have taken the trade and got out the day of this gap because it was such a big move, you would have paid around average of 35 cents and sold it into the close for around a buck. So your profit, let's just say if you'd risked $525, would have been what? $975. And if you'd risked $5,250, your profit would have been what? 9,750 bucks. Either way, a huge risk to reward in the trade very quickly, very, very quickly. And the nice thing about trading options is, guess what? You don't have to have a margin account with your broker to do options. So that is a huge benefit for people. If you'd like more information on how to sign up my, for my Gap Options newsletter, it's an annual subscription. I am doing a Black Friday special. Feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. This is a great way for people to trade in the market and to utilize my system by just taking the options calls that get emailed to you. You take the call, whether it's a call or a put when you get it, and you got to watch your trade. And clearly Walmart was one of those ones you had to watch because it really flew, flew on Thursday. Thanks, everybody. And if you have any more questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the next class is December 16th and 17th. Have a great day, everyone.